Hey guys, welcome to another lesson of Pro Teachers Noob. Today, today I have once again Bianca. Hi. And today we're going over an out, another else world. Pretty much everything going forward up until 100 is going to be else worlds or alternate continuity related. As we go over JLA, the Secret Society of Superheroes. And in this case, well, let's just dive in. I'll just go to the for opening bit right away. As we see, um, and Clark Kent grew up with um, his um, father. Well, basically, they were Freemasons. What does that mean? They help people, but in secret. Oh. Like, motion approved, Brother Kent. Thank you, Brother Lang. We all know Tom Farrell died last month, and I hear his widow's having a hard time of it. Then I move we help the widow. Any objections? To which they leave me like, like, thank you, Lord. For putting such selfless Samaritans in the world, who would help a widower and her child? Stuff like that, just helping people with no other one for you know reward. Like, uh huh. You said your prayers, Clark. Yes, um. What's that you're hiding in your hand, honey? Something I made for the poor people. Heaven's sake, Clark! Took a piece of coal and crushed it just like that. It's a wonderful start, Clark, dear. I'm afraid we can't use this to help the poor folks. Oh, come, Ma. We can never explain a diamond. People find out find out all about you, and that's a can of worms we don't want to open. So how about we give it to them in secret anonymous-like, just like Pa and the Masons? That's a wonderful idea. Good night, Ma. Good, and good night, Clark. You'll always be my little super boy. That reminded me of Man of Steel. Like you can't do this. How am I gonna explain? And then they immediate and then in this one they immediately gave a solution. <laughs> yep. Well, yep. you and I could talk about that after we're done record uh, doing this. But yeah, now in the present day, this is Unit Ten in pursuit of a male Caucasian wanted in the robbery of the Market Street and uh, Street liquor store. Just what I need. Get out of the way. Get out of the move. The clerk is down. Ambulance at the scene. What is your in caution, Unit Ten? As they're driving on over there until like now all this artwork is by Mike McCone. Great artist. And this guy, the guy driving, um, he causes a pile up. Woo! I'm getting too old for this. <laughs> he looks lost, Jim. Oh, there's Jimmy. With Clark Kent and her cheat. Now Clark is much older here. The guy's Jimmy's a hippie. Over Twenty years. He's six months away from mandatory retirement. I guess I'd look a little lost, too. Sorry to interrupt your late afternoon brooding, but I need your okay on the start from the liquor store heist this morning. You should have spent time with Nixon. That was brooding. Anything you want to talk about? Nothing to talk about. Close the door on your way out. Uh-huh, Jim. Um, a year ago, Clark Kent's orthomologist prescribed reading glasses. The strain of close work had finally taken its toll. Basically... This is a version where Superman actually does age. Mm. He still has abilities, but he's not immortal. Now, here, though, Lois is a lot younger. But his telescopic vision works just fine, allowing him to see across the city into the office of another paper, another journalist. Damn it. Lois Lane, Lois, I ain't. Call you back, Perry. Got your mail, Miss Lane. Benito, the word is once again safe for the truth. Or is it from the truth? Where should I put this? I'll take it, Timmy. That's Tommy. Call me Lois. <laughs> <laughs> Liked your piece on devil worshippers. Really? But you got to activate the living hell out of the verbs. Our readers want to be terrorized, not scared. Get my drift? Got it. You okay, Miss Lane? Lois. What the heck is what the heck is this? Remember the guy in Wisconsin? The one who lifted the car, burning car to save his kid? Yeah, so? Two months ago, he calls me with this weird abduction story. Big guy in a green suit uses a green ray to kidnap him outside a bar and examine him. I used to get weird visions coming out of the bars, too. <laughs> Usually a pink, the pink elephant variety. I've gotten calls from six different sources, all with the same story. What about the Latin py American pyramids? Pyramids sell papers. If I see another Aztec pyramid, I'll scream, Perry. But this, this is big. Honestly. <laughs> it's, it's different, isn't it? Fresh, isn't mm -hmm. it? 
But yeah, we have in this version, Bruce Wayne is the FBI's top profiler. Mm. Location somewhere between twenty-five and forty. He's taunting us with the rebus and anagrams, daring us to catch him. All the victims have ties to education. These quizzes, is there a connection? I'm not sure. One thing is certain, he's starting to enjoy his kills. Mm -hmm. Carolyn, forensics hasn't turned up anything. This guy knows how to work. Great. Another evil genius. Check for the priors. Hacking, complicated robberies. Susan, we need a list of guys who have been expelled. PhD candidates gone bad. I'm on it. Mike, there's been another disappearance in Metropolis. So you want to drop everything and go tra and tra trapezing down there to look for your conspiracy? A con conspiracy only you seem to be aware of? We've gotten over 200 dis documented disappearance over the last 40 years. No trace, no evidence, nobody ever seen again. I need to know what happened to them. We've got a serial killer with six victims on the loose. You got 48 hours. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> Like, I was showing a house. I had to leave the client in the lurch to pick him up. Wasn't my fault. The other driver, it's going to cost us 4500 He's lucky he wasn't hurt. You were careless, Bart. Want to know why? Because you care less. Here we go again. There's a, and there's a reason they call them accidents, Dad. Because they don't happen on purpose. Don't get smart with your father. I know, I, I know how to drive. I, fine, fine. Nobody likes a smart guy. Fine. We're not finished here, Bart. Where do you think you're out? Bart? Bart? Oh, and he... Oh, nope, never mind. So, yeah. Where the heck did he go? Oh, he's the Flash. Oh, Bart, oh, uh, okay. Yeah, Bart Allen. Mom and Dad go buggy when, buggy when I ding their car. I sure to think what they do if they find out I'm a real speed freak. Hey, Bart, did you... And didn't think you were going to make it in today. It's Thursday, isn't it? One slab of um, blueberry pie coming up. How about some of that and some was that, that and milk was that? That'd be great, Sandra. Thanks again. Side of moo, Al. <laughs> what are my chances, Richard? You're a 60 year old black man having an affair with a 30 year old white woman, Lucius. What do you think? <laughs> time do I have before all hell breaks loose? CNN's corroborating now. Oh, Lord. There will be a message waiting when you get back to your office. The president wanted to give you the heads up, a chance to call your wife. You've been a good friend of this administration. We'll miss you. Like, let me have two more with everything. Basically, yeah, he was the first African American to clerk for the Supreme Court ju uh, and just and judge. He was the youngest mayor, mayor ever elected in Gossam. Over three terms in Congress, Fox tripled the minimum wage. He fought for tougher law and tougher law and gun laws. He always did what he thought was right. Oh. Tougher gun laws. You can't do that. <laughs> These politics in my comic books. <laughs> Clark Kent remembers when it cost 15 cents to take a pleasant ride on his train. And then off, please. Now it's up to a dollar and a half, and it's a nightmare. In a matter of seconds, <laughs> he's alone. He could use the teleporter, but over the last few years, it's begun to give him indigestion. So as much as riding a train serves as a daily reminder of how he's aged, of what he's lost, he still likes doing things the old-fashioned way. Oh, this reminded me of the Ma uh, the uh, Christopher Reeves uh, secret <laughs> lair. You're saying the world doesn't need role models? Don't put words in my mouth. Here we go again. What we do is admirable, maybe even heroic, but we're not normal people. Shouldn't we let the rest of the world decide that? Hey, hey, can you give it a rest for just an hour or so? You're and you're like a, cu a couple of broken records. We're supposed to be allies. Yo, Hawk, do you ever have an opinion of your own? Or do you just go along and go along with to get along? What's that supposed to mean? It means the company line's wearing a little scent. You have a problem with me? You'll be the first and you'll be the first to know when I do. Looking forward to it. If no one objects, the meeting of the cryptic order is now in session. Would you read the minutes of last month's meeting? Green Lantern once again requests that we go public with our activities, which, as usual, met with a four-to-four -four tie vote. The motion was tabled until more members can be recruited. One of them reported on the Amazon's generous agreement to continue our funding. And finally, Flash reported on a potential new candidate for membership. Any updates? I've made first contact, and I'm maintaining constant surveillance. But if you're curious as to how he'd vote, I don't have a clue. Bart's buying, and basically, uh, 
Bart, and Bart Spaniel, like, just trying to figure things out when then he gets a message. I'm dead. I know what you can do. I'm dead meat. <laughs> Whenever he wants, and Palacinos never came came back here. Yeah, did I blame him? Understand? The guy wore a band lord shirt, for God's sakes. I've talked to the MPD. They found his car on the street. The cash was still in the trunk. He's disappeared, Mike, like Kelton, Morick, and the rest. Call you back. Can I help you with anything? If I had known someone was home, I would have just knocked. Got a name? And, ba- and back at you. Tall, dark, back and insecure. Oh, back at you. Tall, dark, and insecure. Or do you ju- and really and just like that caliber? Bruce Wayne, FBI, Lois Lane, Stranger Than Fiction. <laughs> in apartment 3G, Miss Lane. This is a crime scene. What do you? What do they teach you guys at Quantico about tossing a room? This place is a pigsty. What do you want, Miss Lane? The same thing you do, Ancient Wayne. I like again. I like this Lois, don't you? She's snazzy. She's sussy. Right, answers. So, so we're then seeing this is a metamorpho. Ah. Yeah. Mix, Rex Morgan was once the world's leading archaeologist. He's like Hephaestus, the first. And, Hephaestus, the first female pharaoh. How's it going, honey bunch? Huh? So sorry, <laughs> Dad. I don't care how you act up when you're with your mother, but when you're with me, you better behave. Touch that dead again, and I'll rip out your stomach and feed it back to you, capiche? From now on, you just remember your kid's imaginary friend is keeping an eye on you. <laughs> Elliot, Let's go. You tell me about any imaginary friends of yours. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we also have the Atom. Mr. Muscle, there's a tiny terror. Do you copy? The message said to be here 4 p.m. sharp. So where the heck is the kid? Oh, you gonna eat that burger? Huh? The burger. It's a shame to let a perfectly good burger go to waste. Hey, the burger's mine, and I'm waiting for someone. Yeah, I know. Sorry I'm late. You too? Eh, that's the story of my life. So I guess, so now I guess you're gonna bust me. Nah, it's not about that. But it's funny, isn't it? No matter how fast we are, we're always running late for something. What's that supposed to mean? I'll show you. One of the character defects people like us share is impatience. You need to remember that there are some things in life, like a good ketchup, that are worth waiting for. You, you're you just like me. I'm, I'm Wally West. This is uh-huh. so cool. I didn't even thought there was anybody else like me. And slow down and pass the ketchup. It looked like you're having some trouble adjusting. Happened to me, too. Just wanted you to know you're not a freak. There's one thing I gotta ask you. Plenty of time for questions when we get back. Back? I thought we'd jog a little so I could work off these calories. I want to see my lawyer. Lawyer, I love that one. Maybe you should have saw that before you killed that clerk. You are becoming a poet of the hard-boiled Green Lantern. And enough with the sarcasm, hot girl. Green Lantern? Hawk oh, girl, who are you people? I said I want I want my lawyer. Again with the lawyer. Green Lantern could, would call us your judge, jury, and executioner. Right, Kyle? Hey, right, Kyle? You people are crazy! Why is everyone all of a sudden dumping on me? Can we stop snapping each other and do this? Theodore Pelicones, let it be recorded that you have been found guilty of murder of the, in the first degree. Guilty? As well as of lesser charges of armed robbery and auto theft. Who, and who found me guilty? We hereby sentence you as we do all criminals to the Phantom Zone, where you will have an attorney to consider the consequences of your crime, crimes. Where's my lawyer? And may God have mercy on your immortal soul. Gosh dang. Damn! Yeah, I know you're allergic to flowers, but I think they're from this FBI sack I met. Fraternizing with the enemy, huh? He's very strict, but very cute. I'm sure he's wonderful with a badge and a gun. But meanwhile, I'm still waiting for that pyramid story. You get every, you get everything, Tommy? Whatever there was to get, I got. Everything you always want to know about Bruce Wayne from everybody he never wants you to hear it from. Oh, yeah? Tommy also did a nice job on the pyramid saying, Hieroglyphic translation proof aliens dominated ancient Egypt. Good stuff, Tommy. Thanks, Mr. White. But you want to activate those verbs, kiddo. Pump it up. That thing about his parents. Creepy. If they were anything like my parents, I'd call it a blessing. The black pins represent reported superhero and human feats. The white ones are reported in reports of abductions 
after the initial stories appeared. Where are you going with this? Wayne is five when his parent when he witnessed his parents' murder. As an adult, he becomes obsessed with finding killers he claims disappear before they can be caught and persecuted. I'm still not sure I see the connection. So we either find one or invent one. I'm going to get on the phone and talk to some of these abductees. What do you want me to do? There's a Chinese place on the corner. Pop stickers, hot and sour soup, and an egg roll do it for me. <laughs> hmm. Again, this is a clever story, isn't it? Yeah, I don't really like egg rolls. <laughs> okay, okay. And Chief Mailboy here has a vision of a burning house. Three hours before the Tribe Casino goes up in flame. It's all like, in likelihood, it was just a coincidence. But if he was a clairvoyant, it'd make my life a whole lot easier. Time to zap him home and find out. Subject 39. N negative. Nuts. One more washout. If old Clark knew what I was doing, he'd have a coronary. Pulse is stabilizing. Gotta get up. One minute he was just fine. Then he went white and he just folded. He'll be fine, Marini. Marini. So pale. No needles, please. Relax, Mr. Kent. I'll, pre I'll promise I'll be gentle. But, I, oh my God, it's going in. He passes out from all that because he had a heart attack, but also realizes his vulnerability is fading. No. Again, fresh stuff. An idea of Superman who actually does age and will lose his abilities. The letter addressed to Bruce Wayne, FBI, was untraceable. A short, sweet, unsigned note that read, why did a chicken cross the road? The other side, he's talking about his death. He's the chicken. Hold on a second. Want to pull out from the, uh, from behind his truck. He knows he's a coward, a chicken, hiding behind riddles instead of facing us. Hey, you moron. What do you think you're doing, boy, out in front of me? I ought to come up there and rip you a new. Can, can, can you do me a favor? Trace a plate, Adam Jokeven 902. I want this idiot cited for reckless driving. Bruce, can we get back on track here and pinpoint the victim? The death reference is both figurative and literal. I need you to troll for names in your academic database. Cross index with cinnamons for dead. We've got two. Amanda Grace, 314 Winslow Street, and Peter Nill. Uh, both tenured professors at Gossip. That's a good start. Now give me something to work with. Grace teaches art history. Nell teaches computer science. It's Nell. <coughs> Bring a warrant. I'll meet you there. My f and so, yeah, we didn't see Bart is doing his own thing. His parents clearly don't understand him at all. Oh, and then, uh, apparently this is Barry. Is, is, uh, it's actually his parents in this version. Oh, no. Yeah, I think it's not the same Barry. No. Philadelphia, city of brotherly love, where the devastated, robust economy has been replaced by a cottage industry of illegal drug production. I told you I heard something. Yeah, but what? It's like the whole place is getting torn to pieces. But what's doing it? They're all invisible. I'm floating. Not exactly. Can't breathe. There's a good reason for that. <laughs> I, remain, I remain troubled finding an enemy who cannot see me. There was a time when I might have agreed. But we remain hidden for the greater good of mankind. Some wacko ever found out who we when we were out there? He never stopped till he killed us all. He's such a tool. Oops. Hey, relax, kid, and go get yourself another motorboat with a bit more pizzazz. And as for you, uh, you you gonna run across the water and show everybody you can do more than just skip stones fast as a bullet? Sorry, me and my dad had it out last night. Your father's never going to change, Bart. The only thing you can do is change your reaction to him. That'll be a lot easier. Once I'm 2,000 miles away from him, as hard as he is, I'm sure he loves you. Whatever. Why don't you want to see me? I've got some friends who'd like to meet you. Friends? You mean people like us? If you mean a bunch of guys who can break the sound barrier on foot? No. But they're all special in their own way. Special? Like the Special Olympics? You must get your sense of humor from your father. That was <laughs> <laughs> This is important. We call ourselves the cryptic order. We're a secret organization. No one knows we exist. We're not in the phone book or on any mailing list. As far as the world knows, we don't exist. I use my powers to serve mankind to make a difference. So do my friends. We're the good guys. And you want me to join? Yes, but you have to understand. Once you're in, you're not going back. Check again. I've already checked it twice. 
You had a heart attack, Cal. You're not dying. You might as well be. Your powers are fading. Your cells are having a harder time metabolizing the solar energy. The bottom line is, I'm getting old. You don't look a day over 25. We've known each other for 30 years. I moisturize. Let me take you to dinner. <laughs> no thanks, Diana. This old man's going to stay home. The Riddler is figurative and literal. FBI, hold it right there. The chicken, ouch. AKA the Riddler. AKA <laughs> Mark Question. And walked across the road. The butcher is neighbor uh, Peter Nell. Congratulations, Wade. You answered the r- r- riddle. You win. Speaking of riddles, what the heck was Lois Lane doing in Ted Polianchi's apartment? Help me, help me, please. Anybody. You bet, mister. Who's there? Name's Marty. Marty Jones. And I'm pleased to meet you. What is this place? Just follow me and I'll be okay. Promise. Oh, my God. Ted Pagliaccio was sure he'd been sent to hell. What is this place? Called the Phantom Zone. Only to find a little bit of heaven. Your father's looking for you, Marty. Thanks, Heidi. Is this your house? You want to talk to my dad? Hey, Dad. My name is John Jones. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Hmm. No He's matter a bad what, guy. No, no, no. These were people who either are bad people or people who refuse to join. Oh, oh, what the heck? Why do you... They sent him to the Phantom Zone because they refused to join? Because they wouldn't keep it a secret. Okay, makes sense. No matter what you hear, a disorganized death is not a sign of a creative mind. Last time I checked, breaking and entering was still a felony. There was holding evidence in a federal crime. I guess that makes us even. You're just mad I didn't come running when you sent me the flowers. I never sent you flowers. You didn't? I thought you might have information on an ongoing missing persons investigation. Turns out we both got more than we bargained for. You win. This is finally starting to get and get interesting. Down 300%. Can you dig it or what? Nothing like a system failure to make the global economy roll over and play dead. In the RME, it took Hong Kong to get back online. We dumped the junk bond and used it to, the cash to buy a controlling interest in Nova and Dadius. Incredible, huh? Yeah, incredible. We should look at that trucking opportunity again. Is Fox stepping down? It's in the bag. Shame somebody leaked that story, huh? Bart's on our team, right? I guess. What's the point of bringing him in if he's not on our side? He doesn't know there's a side to be on. It, I mean, is that me? I'm on vibrate. It's me. I'm sure he'll do the right thing when the time comes. Maybe I should just I should finish, visit the farm this weekend. That always cheers me up. But I can't risk being out of town right now. Cal has been sneaking around behind my back. I don't know who else he's corrupted. I know I can count on Diana, but the others? I'm not going to let some power battery punk destroy my dreams. Thomas Wayne, a.k.a. the Batman! Even if it kills me. So Thomas was the Batman here. Oh my gosh. Dinah Lance, Black Canary. 1939, the Air Force tracked an alien craft of, uh, an aircraft of alien design to Kansas. Read about, uh, didn't I read about that somewhere? I thought you made it up. Watch it. It wasn't even an idea back then. The aircraft was never recovered. Since then, there have been reports of three other ships, each of different design, also never recovered. Right. I'm convinced that these aliens are behind the disappearance of some 400 criminals over the past 50 years, as well as my abductees, stands to reason. Assuming you're right about these aliens, and for the sake of my career, I hope you are, how did your father get a ring with their symbol? I don't have an answer to that. But my parents were murdered because my father refused to give up this ring. To put it bluntly, I've been looking for the answer to that for my, most of my life. All over here. We always seem to end up in the nicest places together, don't we? I had a friend in the bureau lab and analyzed the ring. It turns out it turned out to be mildly radioactive. I might want to have kids someday. I prefer they didn't have flippers. I said mildly. The radiation patterns on the street sign are a perfect match for the ring. Why would aliens live in this neighborhood? For the same reason they always seem to land in swamps and make contact with inbreds. That's what the government always says. There. The strongest ball is coming from underneath us. Let's check the subway. Slow down. I just bought these shoes and my feet are killing me. So, Bart, what do you think? Who are these people? Welcome to the cryptic order, Bart. Here's the lineup. The fa- and, and Hawk Girl, Green and Green Lantern, Wonder Woman, 
It's all that are dirt, but check out that body. <laughs> <laughs> a, a plastic man, the atom, metamorpho, and of course Superman. Want to get in there and see what you can do? Uh and they make their way in until they find their way into their lair. So what did you think about that first part? That was super nice. That was very interesting, too. Yeah, very, like I said, very fresh and original. It's like one small change changes everything. Barely a week ago, Bart Allen saw you was alone. The only play anyone on the planet with special abilities. Now eight weirdos in acro and aerobic aerobic outfits want him to join their secret club. And give me five, buddy. Welcome to the cryptic order part. Molly's told us wonderful things about you, young man. Don't crowd the poor kid. And meanwhile, they are there, there and Lois and Bat and Bruce are there. <laughs> hey, you want to scare him off before he's even inducted? Let's show him around the complex. You're gonna love it, Bart. It's like one big video game down here, except we always win. I believe it's time to give the kid his signing bonus. Is it an outfit like Wally's? You'll get your own costume later, Bart. This device allows us to be completely invisible to the public. Like I told you, Bart, we work in secret. It's me. Oh, he's imagining going to the girls' locker and going through the shower. Bro. It's made of a metal known as Amazonium. Invisible? Cool. When a current is run through it, it absorbs the visible spectrum. Somebody told me the kid couldn't care less, fearless leader. I used to have an invisible airplane made of Amazonium. One woman and I stripped the plane to use the metal in these devices. This is very serious tech. You said it. Not, uh, not some way for you to sneak into the girls' locker room. <laughs> 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 That's cute, isn't it? Uh, let's get you suited up, kid. The uniform we've got for you is going to make a hot girl, a hot girl malt. Watch your lit mouse lantern. What's up, Clark? Lois. I thought I smelled something. Unlike you, I always get a little gamey after a workout. Oh, right. oh my gosh. For a moment there, I, I figured we were dead. Next time, you might want to cut down on the perfume. Who were these guys? They're definitely not government. I could tell you that. Holy. My sentiments exactly. The technology we saw in the other room. Their outfits, but this, this is all from uh, all outer space aliens close encounter stuff. Bruce, you have to see this, and I mean right now. Mm. Thomas was your father's name, wasn't it? I, I can still smell yeah. his cologne. Bruce, Bruce, are you all right? I think we should get out of here while and while we still can. Oh, hold on a sec. And why we still have a chance. Bruce, I don't think, can you stop peeping through keyhole for one damn minute? Or are you going to be a voyeur all your life? Now, are you coming with me or what? She'd love to reach out and take him in her arms and tell him it's going to be okay. But she's not sure it will be. All right. In the Phantom Zone, someone tells me I, I'll walk to the Quickie Mart for a pack of smokes is out of the question. Mr. Pelianchos? Yeah? Jean asked me to come get you. He hoped you might like to join us for an evening prayer meditation. The only thing I like to do is get the hell out of here. Unfortunately, that's not, uh, not possible. Walk with me, won't you, Ted? Do I have a choice? Right not. My name's Joe Chill. <laughs> right not. And here I saw I'd still be infamous. Amazing how quickly one gets forgotten these days. The long, long you've been done, stuck here. 30 years last January. 30 years. First 10 are hard. Then you get used to it. Except the being forgotten part. That's something I'll never get used to. There's got to be, what, like 500 people here? 512. Three, uh, three, uh, five, uh, 357 are criminals. The others were all born here. Before we begin, I'd like to welcome a new arrival. Ted Paul and Palachanos. Welcome, Ted. Join us. Peace to you, man. What's going on back in the world? Nice to have you here. Welcome. Uh, hi there. Oh, my. I have died and gone to hippie heaven. <laughs> only, a, only a few minutes, Mr. Wayne. Missy Penny just got off di the, the dialysis. Thank you. Alfred, Master Bruce, I need your help one more time, old friend. My father, did you ever know him to wear some sort of outfit like a giant bat? Can't tell anyone about the costume, Alfred. 
Please, Alfred, it's important. Come close. Thanks, Alfred. As always, you've been a great help. Stay well, and I'll see you soon. Criminals are a superstitious, cowardly lot. Your grammar still stinks, but this stuff is brilliant. Relax, Perry. The sun is brilliant. I'm just incredibly talented. Only question I've got, how is this FBI guy Wayne fit in all this? Trust me, Perry, the feds have nothing to do with this. You're lying like a rug, but that's your job. You've got the cover. Great. The rest, the rest of you hacks and start taking a lesson or two from Lane. This dame really knows how to tell and sell a story. And why didn't I mention Bruce's father? And why should I care about protecting him? I don't know. This, I, I don't know. This, oh, come on. And this is getting all, old awfully fast. Keep your eyes peeled, Bart. There's got to be a crime or two going on there somewhere, even in Keystone. So tell me about the money. Sure, we all know there's a personal satisfaction in saving the world. But doesn't pay the bills, right, Wally? Right. Some of us use our powers to make a little on the side. Like overtime? Exactly. Except no one sees it quite that way. Yeah, well, Superman and some of the others think it's unethical. Guys, so we conveniently forget to tell them. I think I got one. Zoom up, uh, zip over there, and yeah. So if you keep your mouth shut, you can make a real a killing. And that was cool, Wally. Piece of cake, kiddo. Is it like this every night? Hopefully, you'll see stuff that's a little more interesting. Better than these chumps. They're not worth putting in the Phantom Zone. Phantom Zone? Hey, I figured it's some sort of secret society. Right. Aliens and humans working together, using their abilities to help the world. Somehow, some way, they recruited my father over 30 years ago. My father was a mason, but he never wore a cape that I'm aware of. Hey, now, that's a first. Got a smile out of you. I want to apologize for yelling at you the other day. I got a little emotional when I saw, you know, my father's name. Apology accepted. I've got 14 people who will swear they were kidnapped and experimented on by that loudmouth frat boy in green, but we barely scratched the surface. These abductions, my father's death, I'm not sure how they fit together. But I am convinced this group is responsible for the disappearance of over 300 criminals, and I'm going to bring them down. So, yeah, now he's actually interested in it. Is it drugs, Bart? Bart? Huh? You say something? Oh, dear. Uh, he looks so much like a female. <laughs> he does a little. I thought it was a girl named Bart. <laughs> <laughs> if we're talking about burnout, I can send you to L.A. Matthews is returning so they could use you out there. And a little sun would do you good. Come on, Mike. You didn't really think I was going to spend my entire life tracking down freaks and weirdos for you. What about the $12,000 in lab charges you ran up at Quint in Quintico? That was your forgery of my signature, wasn't it? Mike, I was just I just want an explanation for why my best agent is quitting. I saw an old friend of mine the other day. He doesn't have much time left, and I owe him. That's it? An impending death in the family? And anyway, what's $12,000 between friends? So you're just walking out? One more thing I've got to do. Uh-oh. What's your problem? My problem is you man manipulating the market for personal gain. You crossed the line for, uh, and you finally crossed the line with the Hong Kong crash. If we went public, we wouldn't have to sneak around. We could get paid for what we do, like normal people. That's not the point, and you know it. The, uh, the point is, maybe it's time to stop expecting us to buy into your mom, the flag, and apple pie dream world. You may have sucked Wally and Ray into your scheme, but the rest of us, sorry, Cal. But you're on your own as far as I'm concerned. Diana, you're involved in this too? No one tells me anything. The Amazons cut our funding three years ago. I couldn't just let your beautiful dream die. This isn't good. There's no need for us to fight about this, Clark. Heroes have died for what we believe in. I won't let you tarnish their memory by getting rich on their spilled blood. Don't force a vote, pal. You may not like the outcome. I'll take my chances. But whatever happens, you and I aren't finished. Not by a long shot. Looks a little grim, Lantern, and and it's still my ace in the hole, right, Bart? Something tells me Bart will do the right thing. What am I supposed to do? I have to think. I'm so confused. Like, if she, if Wonder no, Diana, Woman doesn't... Yeah, no, Diana doesn't want to argue with them about it, but she still believes in his cause. That's stupid. If she, like she shouldn't, <laughs> if no, no, she's no. constantly all agreeing. She said, all she said was was that the money is um, and she's not going to argue about them using it for the money. She says, "But you're on your own." No, in this argument, 
as far as the argument is concerned. But he yeah, so wouldn't dream. isn't the argument literally about the whole thing about being no, public? No, no, no. She still wants his dream to live on. It's basically saying she's not against them doing the money fraud, but she's still against going public. Money fraud? That's what they did when they made the stock crash and then stole the junk bonds. <gasps> you got to go after him, Wally. Shut up, Kyle. You're not the boss of me. But then again, hey, watch your slipstream. Yo, Bart, wait up, kiddo. <laughs> your mother and your father want you to know that, what it's, that it's really hot where they're staying, Way Really hot. Get it? Really hot. <laughs> Hello, Enigma. To be or not to be? Now, that is a hell of a question, wouldn't you say, Agent Wayne? It's puzzled me for nearly 400. It's puzzled men for nearly 400 years. But I've got a better one. Thank God, Agent Wayne, because that guy's life is driving me out of my, out of my mind. So why am I here? Be a little more specific, Agent Wayne. By here, do you mean an existential to be or not to be way? Or here in a visiting me way? In a visiting you way? One visits a Riddler because there's a riddle which one can't wrap one's dogmatic thought process around. You want the answer bad enough to do something for me? What do you want? I may be psychotic and obsessive compulsive, but like I said, that laugh's killing me. I want to be moved to a hyena freed war, and I want my puzzle books. Done. So what's the riddle? A man tries to make the world a better place. He's got rules and codes and a moral structure. But he does all of this in secret. No one knows he exists. Why? Masons. Masons. That's what Lois said. And that's why my father joined to help people. What's wrong, Agent Wayne? You seem confused. I solved your riddle. It's not my problem if you don't understand the answer. Puzzle books, please. So we see a bit more with, um... Barry's just running around, going all around the world. He's even in, oh, geez, he's in one of the, uh, he's in Washington's nose. <laughs> I got my case, jo and Jones. We've all tried to escape, Ted. What makes you think you'll succeed? You want to spend your life meditating? Fine. Me, I've got a life to get back to. You're here for a reason, Ted. Perhaps not for the reason you think. Look at you, Jones. You refuse to play it their way, and they dumped you here with us. I left my home world to sanctuary. I eventually came to realize that the cryptics, reg cryptics, regardless of their motive, had given me precisely what I sought. You don't really believe. Ah, Jones! I'll gladly return you to the mountaintop and leave you to your task. No, no, take me back to the village. Please! <laughs> I've, I've been buzzing you for the past five minutes, Mr. Kent. Really? Then I must have turned the undercar mop off. What's up? Freak hurricane just took out half the Florida orange crop. The market's going crazy. So, what's that supposed to mean? You've both worked here for years. How do we cover the story? Jim takes the company jet to Florida, ASAP, with three reporters. Straight news, human interest, and financial pages. The business section does a page one on how the market is affected. Weather compares this to the other hurricanes to explain why they happen and how they work. You both know exactly what to do, but don't let the door hit you on the way out. What was that all about? Must be the medication. <laughs> Where the heck is he? Hey! I figured I'd get your attention. Bruce, maybe. Just when did you become a comedian? Where the heck are you? Come with me and try to look natural. Like walking with Cla Claude what Rains is natural. Speaking of which, are you naked? I liberated a couple of things, including this invisibility desk, desk before we left the compound. Is that evidence in an ongoing federal investigation? You're just mad I, did st I didn't steal something for you, too. There's that. <laughs> hey, and that's for pinching my butt. Remind me to stay on your good side. Just stay away from my backside. I'll keep that in mind. Now try these on. They, they counteract the effects of the disc. So I can smack you even when you're invisible? Now I'll know, and now I'll, and now I'll know when these cryptics show up unannounced. Or if you're trying to sneak a peek at me in the shower. Does that filthy mind come with your job? Or did you start out that way? The <laughs> Invisible creeps goes around pinching innocent women. Innocent? Aw, oh, they, they're kissing. It's so random, but okay. Broke. The hurricane in Florida, it wiped out our entire portfolio. You're saying I'm you're saying I'm broke? We've got bigger problems than money, Chance. Has Wally found the kid yet? No uh, nah. Uh, and he's still looking. Forget about the and forget the kid. You have an idea what college professors make in a year? I can't go back to living like that again. We'll start over. I'm hearing real good things about biotech stocks. Tell me again, 
How does our manipulating the market make us any different from the crooks we catch? As the only cryptic was a rap sheet, in case you forget the distinction. We're the good guys. That's all the distinction we need. Thank you so very much. Now I remember. Maybe the sign we've gone too far. Like an act of God. Or maybe someone's just playing God. More argument with, um... And with, um, Bart and his dad. Um, meanwhile we see that now, um, Bruce is actually taking up his, the, his father's Batman suit. One small, small step for man. Oh man! Oh man! <laughs> this guy, a dark knight whose life has just begun. Yeah! Oh, is this great or what? <laughs> Thank God the financial district shuts down at night. I could have gotten someone killed. Lesson one, man was not meant to fly. Can't remember the last time I did I did a lunch a lunch hour flyby. With my powers fading, who knows how much longer I'll be able to keep it. Actions have consequences, Clark. Isn't that what you always say? Kyle, you're making the biggest mistake of your life. That's, the, that's another thing you always say. And look where it got you. And while the first salvos of the cryptic order of civil war is fired, can we just get this over with? The citizens of Metropolis stare in blind shock, hearing the disembodied voice of spirits, but seeing nothing at all. Time to call the cavalry. Oh, come on. The cryptic transporter makes it happen. Metamorpho, deal with Plastic Man. Heart Girl, you've got the atom. I'll take care of the Flash. If I, I can only play possum for so long. Uh, now it's time for them to hear the sonic boom of two hands clapping. Don't let him spook you. If we stand together, we can still take him down. You've got, uh, you got any idea idea what we're supposed to be doing here? That ain't beats the heck out of me, but something's happening here. All this is about nothing but money, power, and prestige, little man. You know where uh, you come here from who knows what planet, and who are you to judge me? Sooner or later, you're going to run out of rocks, Wally. Sorry, Diana, but I made my bed, and even I'm not, uh, I'm not going to sleep well in it. So we see him like, that's them. Why can't we see him? He's telling his dad about it. Like I told you, invisibility disc. You're not kidding. Dad? Okay. If we don't do something, Green Lantern will kill everyone. But it's a three-hour drive to Metropolis. No need to drive when you're me, Dad. What's me, Dad? Remember when we used to play piggyback? I'm not, but I'm your father, Bart. A grown man. Um, this just in. It appeared that a mask and cape lunatic had arrived at the scene. The police have no idea what any of this is about. And I know I'm going to regret this, but cool. Grab your jacket, Dad. We're out of here. So, the, so he's actually winning his dad over and explaining things to him. Hmm. Last time I saw these freaks, they were all on the same side. I wonder how the Masons would feel about these super-powered wannabes now. This is insane. There's no banter, no repartee, and no joy in combat. For these are allies who have become adversaries, and there will be hell to pay. Well, here goes nothing. Thomas? Not, not exactly. I'm betting this gizmo will short-circuit your invisibility disc. I think it's time the rest of the world got to see what I'm seeing. Clark used to have a nightmare about this moment. No! It's secret exposed like an old woman airing her dirty laundry. So they can see us. Fine. While he's distracted, it's just not right. Clark? Bruce, you complete idiot. And he's heading right towards... Lois, no! And... Bart saves him. Didn't mean to start you, miss, but I thought you could use a hand. You all right, Lois? Fine. Thanks to Speed Boy here. Gotta go. And no thanks to you. What's with that outfit you're wearing? Like it? She likes it. <laughs> Gotta stop and now. I don't think so. Get the hell away from my son. And you bring your father along to fight your battles? I'm also a police officer. What's your excuse? Back off, Kyle. Shut the hell up, Wally. This is business. Dad! I'll make this quick, Junior. No. Wally! Oh, for <gasps> God's sake. Somebody shoot me. Oh, somebody shot me. Hey, was, the co was the cops throwing lead like rice at a wedding? Save a place for me is... Hey, wor oh, she stepped on him! Crap. Worm! I can't hold the place off forever. I was tired of tangling with rubber men anyway. Time for him to chug a metamorpho cocktail. Down the hatch, creep! Grrr. Clark Kent has always been pain, a painfully shy man, never wanting the recipients of his good deeds to know their benefactor. It's over. They know and they, hey, dear God, what have I done? Apparently caused when the building started to fall. He runs up and actually catches it. But given Clark's personal predisposition, we must also acknowledge the public nature of this heroism. The citizens of Metropolis have never seen Superman, 
aka Clark Kent, aka Cal Al, last son of Krypton. But they all know a hero when they see one. Incredible. Come on, Clark, you can do it. By God, it's Cl and Clark can't take that kind of strain for long. I need to take a long vacation to a country without an extradition agreement. Green Lantern's in pain. Just enough pain to uh, be unable to focus his concentration on his power ring. And that's when things finally stop going his way permanently. Murder is still illegal in this city, masked man. Oof! Whether the weapon is gun, knife, or magic ring. I don't have time for... Oh! How come in real life when you unmask the bad guy, you've never seen him before in your life? <laughs> <laughs> Clark has never had to deal with this kind of tension before. But And while he's mortified and embarrassed, he's also delighted. I'm, I'm going to feel hurt like hell in the morning. Right now, I feel like a million bucks. Good enough to finally talk to Lois Lane. Clark wrestles with his shyness, his face bright red with, Yes, I've been a fan of yours for years. Clark breaks into a cold sweat. as he finally realize it's not just painful shyness that's making him feel awful? You okay? Was it something I did? My name's Clark Kent. I've admired your work for some time. Don't try to talk. The ambulance is on its way. I've always admired you for an awfully long time, too. I often saw if things, if things were different. We might have been friends. I'm sure of it. Did you get my flowers? I did. <gasps> They're beautiful. Diana, we have to go. Oh, come on, come on. He was the best man I ever knew, and I never told him I loved him. Diana, please. Let's go. There's nothing for me now. I think we're finished. Then I'm out of here. Er, uh, you sure you got, and uh, you sure you want to go there? What else there a freak like me going to do? He's gone, Bart. Who are you? Detective Allen, Keystone Police. Cuts and cuts no, uh, no ice in this town, but we owe you one just the same. Who's the kid in the circus suit? My son, the hero. You sure you want to do that? I think so. Damn it. You'll learn. All it takes is time. I've got plenty of that. Since I've decided to stay, and we're happy to have you, I mean, I've got nowhere else to go, and maybe it's time I settle down. But I gotta say, thank you for letting me come to my own decision. We try to practice what we preach. I am a pretty good cook, you know. I did five years at San Quentin and learned how to make a serious enchilada. I love a good enchilada, just not too hot. Speaking of hot, you guys grow any tobacco? We'll have to talk about that. <laughs> I, I hate when you leave the window open. Sorry. When did you leave? Five minutes ago, maybe. Why didn't you let me know? You were in the shower. Like that's ever stopped you before. I'll remember that. While you're at it, you might want to remember we need milk. I'll pick up on, it up on my way home. I'll love you madly. So it's, 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 it's Lois and Batman are together. Ooh. Likewise. Better than Zack Snyder. <laughs> <laughs> but, you can, you, but you can please remember to close the door next time. Absolutely. I'll see you when you get home from work. The cops can handle the uptown crime. Your brother's been shorting us, girl. This is where he's needed. So, yeah, he helps deal with them. And it, oh, her name's Robin. Of course. Well, Robin, tell the police where they can find these two, and I'll walk you home. Oh, and oh, tonight's top story. Authorities confirmed that convicted serial killer Mark Question made a daring escape from Arkham Asylum earlier this morning. Oh, that's why he wanted to be moved. Well, it gets crazier every day. Makes you think. Hi, this is Selena. Uh, want this kitten to make you purr? Leave your name and number and I'll get back to you. If everyone's so scared that some jerk was puzzles. Hi, my name's John, and I saw your and the ad on the internet. Call me if you're free. And so, and so if you're free, call me at 555-0739. And, and a psycho... And so yeah, that's Selena! And a psycho in a bat suit is getting all the attention. Then this kitten uh, just might make a killing. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. This is so cool. Thank your mother, too. It's from both of us. We're both very proud of, you, of the way you handle yourself in Metropolis. It looks to us like you, your powers have made you grow up. You were great yourself. You really came through for me when I needed you. You like it? Loved it. I knew he would. Where is he? He'll be right back. He needed to run an errand. So Bruce and um, Bart are there. Like, I had no idea just how big this place is. You sure you don't mind me using it for my headquarters? Knock yourself out. Be a shame to see it all go to waste. Maybe you can keep Superman's dream alive. And your father's dream, too. Is that why you change your costume? To keep Wally's dream alive? It was the right thing to do. To honor Wally's memory. 
and we're both agreed is the right thing to do? Absolutely. The dreams are good, but we can do better. They're opening the Phantom Zone for everyone. For oh, everyone? That's in the Phantom Zone. They're all being oh. released. Okay, two. Okay, I got it, I got it. So, what'd you think? It was really good. It was really sad in the ending, too. Oh, yeah, very sad. I do like it. They never made clear which Green Lantern it is. It's, supposed, it's clearly supposed to be Kyle, but... Mm, mm. Really, none of the Green Lanterns would act that way, so... But, yeah, but overall, what did you like best about this? I guess it's like the originality? it's not originality and not even like realistically, but I do like how it was handled. Same here. It's just surprisingly well done. Great artwork. Would you agree? Oh, fantastic artwork. I just didn't like how Wonder Woman looked, <laughs> to be honest. True, true. And some of the, I feel like some of the leaguers weren't needed. Yeah. It's like you needed them there just so you can have a beat, you know, the counterpoint to the other side voting. Exactly. And I think it was what to imply that it was Superman who damaged those oranges. Because <laughs> that's what led to Kyle t and the Green Lantern attacking him. Yeah, no stupid. <laughs> I, didn't, I hated Green Lantern in this. I hated him. I'm pretty sure Kyle fans are going to hate it too. <laughs> But, again, it, it, any Green Lantern fan would have hated it. Yeah. But Kyle was the Green Lantern at times, and that's probably why they went with him. But like I said, I do like how technically putting him in the fan zone actually did work. Yeah, I, I, it was an interesting concept. I'm glad I got to see something like that. Yeah, and like I said, I mean, so I would give this like an 8, a strong 8. What And Lois and Bruce were also pretty fresh here, too. Mm-hmm. I mean, Lois felt like Lois, and yet felt like a different Lois. You know what I mean? Yeah. I know what you mean, yeah. So, yeah. That's all for now. We'll see you all in the next one. Take Bye. Care.